Hello friends, this video on integrals part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 18. Let's take one more example, sine to the power 4x. This question also, if you want, we can solve using substitute. Can be. Just think on it. This is sine to the power 4x, even number. It will be difficult actually. Why? Because if you take if you take one sine x out, it will be sine cube x. Right? And then if you have to take cos x equal to t. So you can say this guy, you can say sine square x, you can say 1 minus cos square. But the sine x component will be there. This will be difficult to remove. Why? Because if you take cos x equal to t, this is easy. This will be difficult part. And this you can write as 1 minus t square. So it will be something like this 1 minus t square into root and this dt. Something you will get. You will be able to solve actually, not a big thing. That will be something like this 1 minus t square to the power 3 by 2 dt. Something of this form. But, but this is tricky one. It will take a lot of time also. I am not, not, sure, not very sure also if it will be able to find solution for this or not. One easier way is using trigonometric formulas. I know that sine square x is nothing but nothing but 1 minus cos 2x by 3. See everywhere if you see what we are doing is sine x into sine x the product I am converting into some form because if it is of some form it is very easy to find integrals. So sine square x is this, so sine 4x will be nothing but 1 minus cos 2x by 2 whole square. Correct. And this is nothing but 1 by 4 into 1 plus cos 4x minus 2 cos square x. Now again, again simplify this for this. 1 minus uh, cos to the power 4x will be nothing but I'll solve it here. This will become 1 plus cos 4x by 2. Why? Because this is 1. This is nothing but cos square of 2x. This is cos 2x. Cos square of 2x is nothing but 1 plus cos 2 into 2 that is 4x by 2. And this is by default there. Correct. Now finding integration of this is not difficult because you have 1, you have cos, 4x cos 2x. So let me rearrange this guy actually in a better way. Already find integral now only dot dx i is equal to. So this guy will be nothing but you have uh, this will become uh, 1 plus 1 by 2 that is I'll say integral of 3 by 2 right. Sorry, 1 by, I mean 1 by 4 is common here actually, this 1 by 4 is out empty key. 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 plus cos 4x by 2 minus 2 cos 2x, right? The whole thing dot dx. So this becomes 1 by 4 anyway is common here. 3 by 2 dot dx becomes 3 by 2x, okay? And cos 4x by 2 will become sine 4x by 4 into 2 and minus 2 cos 2x become minus 2 cos 2x will become sine 2x by 2. Correct. So if you solve this further, this guy gets cancelled, you get 3 into uh, 2 into 4 is 3, 8. 3 by 8x plus 4 into 4, 16 plus 2, 32. Sine 4x by 32 minus sine 2x into 1 by 4, sine 2x by 4 plus some constant. And that is my answer. So, what do you have seen? We have converted this guy, which is really difficult to integrate to simpler version. Simpler, if you see. 3 by 2 plus cos 4x by 2 minus 2 cos 2x. These two are exactly same. 
So using my trigonometry formula, I converted a complex integral into a simpler integral. Let's take this question. Uh, it looks complex, but if you see, this is sine cube by sine square cos square and cos cube by cos square sine square. So let's just break this. So this becomes sine cube x by sine square x cos square x plus this becomes cos cube x by sine square x cos square x, right? And if you see here sine square and this cancel, q cancel, here cos square and cos cube cancel. You get sine by cos square x, right? And cos by sine square x. Let me write here sine by cos square x plus cos by sine square x dx. This is also dx. Both are integral. And this is the value of i. Correct. Now finding this is very simple actually. If in this case if you see if you take cos is equal to cos is equal to t, you will get sine x dx in the upper limit and that will cut off. If you take sine x equal to t, you will get cos x dx. So I will take the first part now or I will take this nothing but i1 plus i2. Right? Let's solve the value of i1. i1 is equal to integration of sine x cos square x dx. Let me take cos x is equal to t then minus sine x dx is equal to dt. Sine x dx is equal to minus dt. So this becomes minus dt by t square. Right? And this will become actually 1 by t. And we know this is t1 because don't get confused. If it is t1, this is 1 by t1 plus some constant. If you take i2, i2 is nothing but cos by sine square x cos x by sine square x dx. So here I can take sine x as t2. So in this case I will get cos x dx x dt2. Correct. So this will become cos x dx as dt2 by sine square x that is t2 square. And this is nothing but minus 1 by t2 plus constant. So if you add these two, if you add these two, i is nothing but 1 by or 1 by t1 is nothing but 1 by cos x here. And 1 by t2 is nothing but 1 by sin x. Right? Cos x, 1 by cos x is nothing but sec x. And 1 by sin x is cos x. So it is minus actually. So minus here it is minus. So if you add these two, i is equal to i1 plus i2, i1 was sec x and i2 is minus cos x and plus some constant. So that is the value. So just we converted this guy into a into easier way, easier uh, form so that we can integrate easily just by using trigonometric formulas. We'll take one more example. See in this also, if you take, if you try to substitute it is difficult. If you take cos x plus sin x equal to t, you will get minus sin x plus cos x. It doesn't make sense. So let's try to solve using trigonometric identities. This cos x plus sin x square will become cos square x plus sin square x plus 2 sin x cos x. Correct? So let me try to see what we can get. This becomes cos square x plus sin square x plus 2 sin x cos x. And that is nothing but cos 2x by 1 plus sin 2x. How? Oh, this guy becomes 1 and this guy becomes sin 2x. Now if you see, now my life is simple. Now I can use substitution. If I take 1 plus sin 2x as t, if I take 1 plus sin 2x as 2x as t, what I get? 2 cos 2x dx is equal to dt and cos 2x, the factor I have, cos 2x dt is nothing but dt by 2, cos 2x dx. Now in this equation I'll substitute, now if I want to find integration, integration is nothing but integration of cos 2x by 1 plus sin 2x, the whole thing into dx. Now cos 2x dx I know is nothing but dt by 2, it's called dt by 2. 
एंड वन प्लस साइन टू इज टी इंटीग्रल सो वन बाई टू आई इज कॉन्स्टेंट डी टी बाई टी इज नथिंग बट लॉग टी लॉग ऑफ मॉट टी प्लस एम कॉन्स्टेंट एंड वट इज टी वन प्लस साइन टू एक्स plus and that is my answer so if you see in this case we use both trigonometric identities and substitution so just understand that we can use multiple tools also but the logic is very clear you have some complex integrand right with this value which is difficult to integrate you use some tool tool can be anything that is substitution trigonometric identities or more tools will discuss to convert this guy into simple integral correct that's what we do let's take one more example cos 2x plus 2 sin square x by cos square x so here also if you use cos x as t i'll get uh, sin minus sin x dx as dt i don't have this kind of uh, uh, structure here let's try to simplify this this is cos 2x and this is sin square x do i have a relation between cos 2x sin square x yes i know cos 2x is nothing but 1 minus 2 sin square x that is cos 2x plus Two sine square x is equal to one. This is something I know. So this is one. That means this is guys one. That means this equation is nothing but one by cos square x dx. And there is nothing but one by not one by one by cos square is six square x dx. And I know integration of six square x. That is tan x plus c. And there is my answer. So if you see such a complex integrand converted to a very simple integrand, six square x dx and that is very easy to find answer also and we got the things thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again